What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Texas Tech versus Texas A&M Commerce College Basketball matchup going down Wednesday, November 8th, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com, click the Premium Picks tab on the top of the page. Well, let's get to this one between Texas A&M Commerce and Texas Tech. Texas A&M Commerce starting the year with a 78-46 road loss to Texas A&M. Meanwhile, Texas Tech, we have yet to see them in action this season. And it's basically a new-look Texas Tech team. You know, this is a Texas Tech team that finished 16-16 and last year. But 5-13 and in Big 12 Conference play just was not a good year for the Red Raiders in that regard. And, uh, you know, Mark Adams was never really the answer. So they go from Mark Adams, they bring in Grant McClasland. Excuse me, McClasland. I'm going to have a, trouble, a hard time saying that for the first couple games. But uh, they bring in Grant McCasland. And uh, bring him over from uh, North Texas. And, um, you know, McClaslin, he did a great job with the with the Mean Green. You know, he was there for six years. And um, over time, he really turned this North Texas team into a defensive juggernaut. I mean, the last three years, they were top 15 defensive efficiency, according to Ken Palm. The last two years, they were in the top 25. And he made them, you know, a solid team. They won the CBI the first year that he was there. They won an, uh, an NIT title last year. Conference regular, excuse me, Conference USA regular season titles for a couple of years. There was a lot to like about what he did at North Texas. He's going to try to do the same here in Lubbock with Texas Tech. Now you lose four double digit scores from last year. You lose a couple. You lose a couple of big men. Fardas Almack, um, Daniel Bacho's gone. Kevin O'Banner, uh, Davion Harmon, Jalen Tyson, all gone from last year's team. That's a big chunk. That's over fifty points per game last year. That's now gone from the program. Um, but now you bring in, you know, guys like Joe Toussaint from uh, West Virginia transferring within the Big 12, Warren Washington, Devin Cambridge. So there are nice pieces uh, to contribute for uh, Texas Tech this season. But I just don't know if they're going to be able to be like all that cohesive in their opener um, offensively. Anyways, I think the one thing that's going to travel regardless of, you know, where you go or where you transfer to, who you play for, is your ability to play defense. And I think that's what we're going to see here in Texas Tech. It's just the same thing we saw with North with North Texas from McCaslin. You know, is um, just an emphasis on playing good defense. Now you look at uh, Texas A&M Commerce. They struggled in that opener on offense against the uh, the Aggies of Texas A&M. They only put up forty six points in that game. I think they're going to struggle here. But do I feel good enough to lay twenty two and a half? I would lean towards uh, Texas Tech in that regard if you're looking for the side. But my better play here is going to be taking the under one thirty two and a half. Like I said, I think this is just another defensive struggle, and uh, I, I just don't see us getting into the the one, maybe even the, barely the one twenties, let alone one thirty two and a half. So, give me the under one thirty two and a half, Texas Tech and Texas A and M Commerce. That's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. And just a reminder to smash that like button; it really helps us out a ton. And uh, also make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the new get the newest, most up to date content when it drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.